Uh, Charles, uh, I can see by the look on your face you're pretty frustrated. You, look, you had good pace at parts in that qualifying, but it just didn't come together when it mattered. Yeah, we had uh, an issue in the high speed uh, on the fast lap, which made me downshift being flat out, which, was, which wasn't great. We lost quite a bit there. And then uh, we struggled a lot, basically, with the first time lap. We were very strong with the second time lap. But whenever we had to do uh, the, the lap straight out of the box, we were struggling like crazy uh, with the rear tires. So I think that's a bit the explanation why we uh, struggled then in Q3, because then it was basically only one lap on my first run. I had to abort the first one for the same reason. And then in my second run, I had no choice but doing one lap. So that's what we did. But uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, uh, we maximized with what we had. Uh, we just need to work for tomorrow to try and find the pace for straight away. What do you think is possible for the rest of the weekend? Because obviously the car's in part Ferme now, isn't it? Uh, well, not much. Maybe the outlaps, uh, to look at the different outlaps. But to be honest, I don't think there's much there. So I don't know really. I don't have the answer for that. Carlos, this sprint format always throws out some surprises. Unfortunately, you're the wrong side of that. What went wrong out there for you? Yeah, had a very difficult quali uh, right from the beginning, just struggling quite a bit with the, with the balance. Uh, rear was very, very loose, uh, while in FP1 I managed to switch on the tyres and get a decent grip on this uh, new surface. Uh, when the track them dropped this, this afternoon, I, I just couldn't find uh, any grip out there, so I just uh, struggled quite heavily. So yeah, I'm not surprised to be, to be out in Q3. Points are so important for you in the chasing down of Mercedes. Are you going to just try and maximise the sprint tomorrow and then see what you can do on the race day? Yeah, hopefully we can turn it around uh, for tomorrow the sprint and have a better Saturday, but uh, definitely Sunday is going to be tricky, uh, starting from so far back in a difficult track to overtake. Uh, but uh, yeah, my main focus now is to try and see what we can do better tomorrow. Yuki, there were just a few thousands in it, so close. How are you feeling? Because at least you're kind of on the cusp, aren't you, of the top 10 at least? Yeah, to be honest, happy with the performance, what I did. Um, yeah, obviously it's like kind of trend this year that missing out really, really uh, close, but um, still was okay qualifying. Uh, obviously it's not the qualifying that we wanted, but it's still close to the point. So we're, we're pretty okay with it. Um, but yeah, I just uh, have to improve a lot of places. I think still, I think um, limitation what we had um, through the year is not really improved. Uh, obviously the, impro obviously the, um, Upgrade work was is working, but um, still, I think it's uh, probably we just need more understanding about it. But um, but yeah, still feeling optimistic for the race, uh, just outside of points. So, um, but yeah, tomorrow is another day for qualifying. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, uh, hopefully, I can perform slightly uh, better, a little bit better uh, than today. How difficult were the conditions out there? Because it was so windy, it was changing direction all the time, and it obviously a resurfaced track with a lot of sand on it. Yeah, I would say uh, slightly better than uh, FP1. FP1 was uh, kind of extreme, so if I, if I experienced that, uh, qualifying slightly got um, calm in, in general, probably, in temperature and the wind, so slightly easier to drive, but still, it's still tricky. Uh, some, of, some of the corners is just next lap, it just turns a lot of a lot different, you know. The big, it just depends on wind. So, um, but yeah, this kind of a characteristic of this track, and um, but yeah, still okay. It's still enjoyable, yeah. Well, Nico, we saw some really on the limit laps from you, but not quite enough to make it through to Q3. How was yeah. qualifying from your point of view? Uh, yeah, dynamic, hectic in a way, but uh, not good enough. Ultimately, uh, not fast enough. Um, just were, was lacking a bit of pace, a bit of balance. Obviously, sprint weekend, you know, is short uh, practice time for everyone, so couldn't play so much with the car and the setup as much as uh, I and, and the team would have liked. But um, yeah, it is what it is, and uh, yeah, just wasn't enough today. Today, with the one practice session, have you got enough of a sense of the pace that's in the car for the rest of the weekend with the sprint? Well, the we just obviously got a, the first, uh, you know, reading just now. Tomorrow, obviously, straight into the next quality, but in different conditions early in the day when it's still much hotter and uh, no, to be honest, it's going to be a bit of a surprise and I think a mixed bag, what we're going to get. Uh, we just have to be on our toes and, and react quickly.